Justin Osborne and I participated in the 2009 SERP Undergraduate Research Project and I'm a senior here at Purdue. I'm actually graduating this December and I'm a double major. I did genetics and then cell molecular development with a minor in biotechnology. So my project for SERP this summer was a lot different than other projects because mine also correlates with this um, group called iGEM which uh, stands for International Genetically Engineered Machine Competition. And it's an undergraduate run uh, competition and tell it in my tea every year. So the difference was that with my project, I designed it and I found the money for it and I sort of led a team to, to get this done. So our project this year was that we decided to focus on um, finding cancer and somehow labeling or destroying cancer. We, we took this sort of seek and destroy approach so the overall idea is that in your brain and your spinal cord, there are microglia. And microglia are called the macrophage of the central nervous system. They're there to protect your brain and your spinal cord because you don't have blood with B cells and T cells flowing through there. And the other part of this was the cancer part. So we found that in glioblastoma, in some of the samples, there are these balls of cells. And then inside these cells are um, a very special group of cells that have stem cell quality, so it's this idea of a cancer stem cell, and these cells have a specific marker on them, a specific protein called CD133. So what we've done is we've taken these microglia that are in your brain, and we've given them the ability now to recognize this specific protein uh, in this cancer cell. And so, I think I should point out about these cancer cells is that they have been shown to be resistant to hypoxia, meaning they can survive with very low oxygen levels. They are resistant to irradiation and also to some chemotherapies. So they're really nasty and they are suspected to be what causes high um, relapse in glioblastoma patients. So now we've given something that's natural in your brain the ability to find these cells. And once they find them, they can label them. And if you can label it, you can destroy it. So what I learned this summer was basic techniques in the laboratory, uh, how to do mammalian cell culture, literature reviews, which are something that you will learn to love or at least appreciate, and then uh, making contacts with uh, other professors and people around the world and other universities here in the United States, which was very cool. Um, so another thing that I would like to, to talk about is that Learning about the world of science and, and being a biologist, you, you get to appreciate the fact that you're working on, on projects that have meaning, that have application in the world. And so my project was cancer uh, research and detection. And if you think about it, like pharmaceutical companies right now are not really set up for gene therapy and nanoparticles, but that is where the science is ultimately going. And so this was really cool. I, I got to kind of delve into the fact of like, you know, the very edge of this huge technology that's being ready to take off. And I highly encourage participating in SERP and doing undergraduate research as much as possible, and definitely if you're thinking about graduate school. The more you know, the more experience you have, the more likely they're going to be like, yes, I want that person in my life. And do iGym, <laughs> definitely. Join the iGym team.